Hello everybody, Aki here and welcome to Dreaming Mary. This is a short RPG Maker horror game. Well, I wouldn't really call it horror to be exact because that's what the author said. Um, it is possible to go through this entire game without running into the horror aspect of the game. And this is some great title music, by the way. Uh, the author said that this game was loosely based off of Eeb. Uh, Yume Nikki, and also Maho Shoujo Madoka Magica. <coughs> so, yeah. Um, knowing me, we're gonna go try and find the horror stuff. Because in some Pixiv pictures that I've seen, things can get really gruesome in this game. Uh, I would describe it sort of as like a spin-off of Alice in Wonderland, I guess. Because we play as this little adorable girl who goes into her dreams. Anyways, let's begin. Oh, that was some really nice menu music. I really liked it. Mary, always remember that you can do anything in your dreams if you try. You can change your life through your dreams. You have that kind of power. Find the key that turns dreams into reality, and the entire world will open up for you. <laughs> but Mary, be careful. If you fall too far into your dreams, you will never wake up. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Welcome to the dream. Please adjust your vault. Yeah. Control Z to confirm. X cancel. Arrow keys to move. This is cute. The vase here with a... There's a vase here with a pretty white flower in it. Two of the petals have fallen off. Yes, take the flower. Door is locked. This is a weird painting. Um, kind of lost already. Oh. I like cute dreams. Oh, what is going on? Eat it. Oh, there's something hard inside. Got a gold leaf key. Go, 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 go. Oh. Did you hear that? It said Mari. Go. 
go in. There's a large white door. You can hear someone humming in the room behind it. There's a large blue door. You can hear someone reading aloud. There's a large orange door. You can hear someone giggling behind it. Uh... Bonnie! Oh my, hello there, Mary. Hmm. How do I know you? Why, that's silly. Are you saying you don't remember me? No. Aw, what a sweet girl. Of course you wouldn't forget me. There's only one bunnelit Bonilda, there we go. Bonilda in your dreams after all. Since it's been a long time, why don't you go visit the others? I'm sure Pen Dwindle. Next door would love to see how much you've grown. It's morning, the moon is pale in the sky, and the distance fades into darkness. Statue has an engraving on the foot. The gold fruit is a prize for the winner. There's a starfish hanging up there. <laughs> Statue has an engraving on his foot. The red fruit is death and temptation. Oh, is that a penguin? Mary, is that you? Why, what a surprise. It's been years, hasn't it? You've grown. You've certainly grown since we last met. Would you like to read some books? Feel free to look around. This is your dream, after all. You want to go say hello to Foxanne when you're done. She'll be ecstatic to know that you're here again. Go tattle along now. It's a brown book with a boy playing with monsters on the cover. Where the wild things are. Oh. It's a yellow book with stuffed rabbit on oh. The Velveteen Rabbit by Margie Williams. What's this? Sleeping Beauty, page 3. Finally, she came to an old tower. A narrow stairway led up to it. Being curious, she climbed up until she came to a door. There was a small yellow key in the door. She turned it, and the door sprang open. She found herself in a small room where an old woman is spinning flax. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. Screen book with a tree and a boy on the go. <gasps> the giving tree! Oh! I love that book. There's a blue book with a girl and a pig on the cover, Charlotte's Web. Oh my gosh, this is so nostalgic. Do kids even read these books these days? There's a white book with talking animals on the cover. Aesop's Fables. <laughs> Mary? Mary, is that you? Wow, look at you, growing up on me, huh, kid? Can't believe you hadn't even stopped to visit these past years. You're not leaving again anytime soon, kiddo. Not if I can help it. You should go talk to Boris first. Then we can play some games together, like in the old days. Just go down the stairs at the end of the hall. You can't miss that door, it's the only one after mine. You see, there's no door. Can I get that? Can I get that champagne? No? This is a really fun game. Is there something here? Seems to be a door hidden in the wall. You hear a strange noise from behind the, the door, almost as if someone is calling you. Is there any way to save? There's a bowl with a sea angel inside. It looks like it's about to tip over. Wait, no, don't let it tip over. Fix it, Mari. Mary, Mari, whatever. There's nothing there. There's... Did you guys hear that? Oh, that was so weird. Oh, uh, the game said that it relies heavily on, uh some sounds so you have to listen to some sounds for it to like there's something strange about this spot you touch the painting oh no the book says you can run by holding shift you should always run the moment you think you're safe is the moment he will get you <laughs> yes go through it please okay Yeah, they said uh, to uh, pay attention to the sounds in the game. And 
when I when I press that door, if you guys heard it, there's a button locked by a code inside of the bowl. Uh oh. Mary? Beep beep wrong. Sea Angel? Uh, forget it. Let's go this way. Uh oh. Boris! Oh, Mary, sweetheart, you're back. I missed you, darling. Isn't this place beautiful? And it's all for you, dear. For tonight, why don't you go play with the others? We can have our own special time later, alright, sweetie? There's a door with four holes in it. Darling! You look great! Hey, hey, Foxanne. Boris is in the garden. You should. You can get to it by heading down the stairs in the hall. Yeah, I know. I did that already. Hey, Pen. Is his name Pen, right? Pen Gwindle. Penguindle. Hmm, you found a locked door? Well, didn't you have a key with you? Where did it go? Oh, a hint. Oh, page four. What are you doing there, said the princess. I'm spinning, my child, said the old woman. This is very pretty. How do you do it? Give it to me and I... That I may see if I can do so. She picked up the spindle, but no sooner did she touch it, she pricked herself with it and then fell down into a deep sleep. Can I keep reading? Page 5. Oh, awesome. After a time, it happened by chance that a king was out hunting and passed away. When the king beheld I who seemed to be enchanted, he... I can't read that fast. Bonilda. Say, if you're not busy, could you help me? I can't figure out how to arrange these statues. Yes. Yay, thanks so much. You see, there's actually a story behind these statues. Two goddesses fell in love with the same man and they spent years fighting for him. One of the goddesses was the queen of the underworld, the other was the goddess of love, Aphrodite and, uh, and uh, Persephone. Please, help me show this story to the statues. Confident. Wounded. Longing. Is that right? Being attacked by a wild boar. Such a young woman only a basket of fruit and vegetables. Is this right? Vanilda! Vanilda, talk to me! I think I'm right. Am I right? Is that right? I don't know. But Nilda, help me! Ah. That's why the opening scene called her Mari, Mari instead of Mary. Oh my gosh, this game is really weird. So this is Mari? Book says... How do I... Oh my gosh, okay. I am so lost. This is... This is scary. Vanilda! Did I get this right or no? Oh 
Wait, was that? Oh, never mind. Uh, Penguindle. Penguindle. Where the wild things are. Alice in Wonderland. Do I just keep reading this? Page six. Now, why conceive two blood one a boy and the other a girl? Blah, 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 mar E. Is that intentional? Page three. Oh, crap. Okay. I really like this game. Can I eat that turkey? Fox in. So, how are you doing, kid? Everything good? It'll only get better from here. Your dreams are great like that. Well, thanks, Fox in. Magic. What's the magic word? Dreaming? Where's the G? There it is. Oh, I'm stupid. Boris! Boris, I'm lost. Interesting. The next question was sent anonymously. Here's the first one. Does Mary have any kind of special power or an iconic item? What a fun question. Mary does indeed have a special power. In fact, her power is what created the dream world. You see, everyone in this universe has a sort of power which is passed down through families. <sighs> Interesting. Is there any more? Another question from Sunrise. Does who did Mary inherit her power? Her mom or her dad? And what kind of person was her mother before she passed? Mary got her power from her mom. Mary's mom was a silent woman who loved Mary very much and was always kind. But she could be cryptic and mysterious too. She tried her best to help Mary with learning her powers, but unfortunately she This is very grim. Is that it? That's it. Okay. I think it's here, but... How do I bring up the menu? I don't know how to play this game. 
There's no end button, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. What was that button? That was S? Oh, okay. S is to save. A is to return to the title screen. Uh, la, 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 la. Enter. Dang it. Dang it! Bonilda, please help me. Let me try returning and then continuing. I don't get it. I don't get it. I I don't get it. Penguindle, help me out. There's someone waiting for you in the room after Fox Sands. It's best you visit right after seeing her before going to anyone else. When you're done talking to Fox Sand, you might want to go see Bonilda. She's having a bit of trouble with her room maintenance. Perhaps she can help. Do you like being in these dreams, Mary? The waking world must be dull in comparison. I'm sure it has its merits, though. Here's a quote by Epicurus. Be moderate in order to taste the joys of life in abundance. And that's true. You guys, you should do that. Okay. So... Does that mean I have to be, like, right here to talk to Bonilda? There we go! Two goddesses fell in love. Same man. Spent years fighting for him. Okay. Let's put the wounded there. Confident. The longing. You have an eye for these things. I'll be sure to ask if you need more help. Oh! Hum, 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 hum. Okay. Well... But no, though, I helped you. Did I get anything? Oh my gosh. What is that painting? I don't know the magic word. Is it magic? Uh Boris Okay, Boris doesn't want to talk to me. Let's go back to Fox Ann. Hey Foxy. Stay and relax, enjoy yourself, you have all the time in the world that you want. Don't worry if you hear or see some weird stuff every now and then, it's just subconscious nonsense. Stream stuff, just keep going on. Boris is in the garden. La, la, la. Some of this stuff is really confusing. No, I didn't mean to go in here. Okay. Two bolted petals. It's not locked. Come on. Okay, well, I have to end it here for today's episode, guys. So, yeah, this was Dreaming Mary. Uh, wow, this game is a lot different from any of the RPG makers that I've played so far. So, it's really interesting. Um, story seems a little weird. Like, I told you guys, Alice in Wonderland-esque. Uh, American McGee's Alice in Wonderland. I should be more, um, more descriptive. Anyways, 
Uh, thanks for sitting down and watching me play Dreaming Mary. This is Aki. Have a great day, and remember to always stay safe.